Okay, awesome. Welcome everyone to our Monday training. Uh, as we were just talking about, it was great. It's absolutely fantastic to see an incredible month of August all wrapped up, all dusted off. We've seen people just absolutely fly out the door, brand new brand partners. We've seen brand partners hitting three free for the first time. We've been we've seen brand partners hitting bonuses. Um, it is just such an incredible time to be a part of this business. We have a new general manager. Uh, if you haven't checked him out yet, he's, he's, he's going live into our Team Neora page. He did a great live today. He did such a great live today. It inspired me to look deep into my own personal self. Um, he talked about how this business exposes you. And I was like, Wow, that is so true. I think of when I very first started this business a short three, nearly three years ago now, it was it was incredible what comes up for you personally on really what you need to address and what you need to do um, to grow as a person to grow in this business. And, and I love that. And I think that's a really sensational part of this business. Um, and so after he spoke about um, what exposes you, because all the time there's things that exposes us, right? So I dug deep in my own self and thought, well, what is it that exposes me right now? And I realized that I had a bit of noise that was running around in my head. And that noise was, was, was is, it's annoying. And I want it to be quiet. And you know, sometimes you're like, you know, yep, I know the noise is there. But other times you're like, no, this noise just does not need to be there. It's distracting me. It's not giving me the actual clear path that I'm on to get to where I want to go. So what I did, is I called in the big guns. <laughs> I rang up Sonia. <laughs> oh, well, actually, I messaged her and I said, "Are you free? I need to talk to you." And of course, she uh, she was feeding a baby, so I'm like, "Bring it on! There's some time." So, uh, um, fortunately for me, Sonia said, "Yes, I'll absolutely love to talk to you." And we went through, you know, I shared with Sonia what was going on for my noisy head, um, and she said to me. She actually, if anybody of you don't know, Sonia is a Kahuna masseurs and, uh, and she went straight into Kahuna world and I'm like lapping this up going, how good is this? But she took me on this journey. It was, it wasn't long. It was a short journey, wasn't it, Sonia? But, um, she took me where, you know, when you've got a barometer and you have, say, a point in that barometer, that is the direction of where you're going. That's the direction of, of what you have pinpointed, of what you want in your life and what you want out of this business. And I have a very clear direction of where I'm going and what I'm doing. But my barometer was kind of going like this. And I don't know if any of you have ever experienced anything like this, whether it's right now in your business with Neora, whether it's in your life, uh, whether it's in your workplace in your life, whatever it be, it's very, very easy to go like this and not be in that direction of where you want to go. So uh, fortunately, uh, Sonia knew what to do <laughs> and she asked me a few questions and we went down a bit of a path um, and straight away there was a few things that she said that just made my barometer go straight back to the needle point of exactly where I'm going and what I'm doing. And I just said to her, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> Can you train? <laughs> um, and she's like, I would love to. And so I'm going to get right out of the way um, because I want you guys to lap up what I lapped up today because if you're experiencing this in your business now, you need to hear this. If you're not, just keep that barometer strong and you might be experiencing it somewhere else in your life and you need to hear so, Sonia, I am going to open up the uh, channel to you and I'm going to mute myself out and get right out of the way. Hey, thank you, Divine Rachel. Hey. Hello, everyone. And I start with a hey. Yeah, just to make sure that we're rattling and shaking, you know, those voices that either are within us or that surround us by what people say and hence affect us. Yeah, because that was Rachel's question. Yeah, she was like, 
zong, zong, you know, how do we sort of create something to not get rattled, yeah, by what someone may have said or what I may have said to myself, yeah, and I start off with hue, because sometimes, guys, you've got to give yourself some grace and just, you know, make some funny sounds, yeah, to let the blur, lick, 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 come out and just let it come through yeah and then once you've done that you've got to breathe yeah you've got to take some time and breathe and it can be a breath it may be three breaths it can even be five breaths but what you're actually doing every time that you just stop and breathe you're actually centering yourself again and you're going back into the wholeness of what you are which is all of you yeah it's not just our brain it's our body our soul our mind it's all of who we are and it's your breath that takes you into that avenue right because when you do breathe and you come back to yourself you then come back to the moment the now yeah and when you're in the now that is really the, the, the potency of you to be able to create the change or to do what it is that you want to do. Yeah, if you're stuck with the rattling of the voices in your mind, then you're not going to be present. You're probably doing what I do, which is judging myself either from past events or judging myself with future events. So I'm just gonna give you like where I'm at in my personal life at the moment. Just had a baby, <coughs> delicious baby boy, third child. His name's Anteus, he's now going into his seventh week. And um, you know, so a good rattling of my mind is, oh my God, oh my God, how am I gonna do this? I'm a new mom with a new baby with two older kids. I'm running a business. Oh my God, it's end of month. Oh my God, how am I going to congratulate people? And you know, if I keep going with that type of inner voice, it's going to be so overwhelming. And I'm then going to convince myself with a really good excuse. Yeah, like a really good excuse why I can't show up. Yeah, because I've really spoken myself out of it. Yeah, and um, and then the truth is that sort of is like just a band-aid because it doesn't feel good. Yeah, I can say that excuse and it can look great to the outside world, but my inner world, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel right because I know what I'm capable of, yeah, and I know what you guys are capable of and I know what we're all capable of under the umbrella of Neurora. Yeah, so in saying that, it's, it's, it's really important to take time to just stop and breathe, yeah, and say, right, this is what I'm going to do in the next 15 minutes, and I'm going to give myself just these 15 minutes to get the task done, and then whatever thing that has to come after that, I'll think about that after that 15 minutes. So I'm going to give an example about Rachel, the way she called me today. She called, first message, then she called, and then we were, like, excited to hear each other. So there was, like, literally two seconds of, oh, my God, oh, my God, how are you? Oh, my God, I miss you. And then Rachel was like, right, I really appreciate your time, Sonia. So I'm going to go straight into it. Now, when Rachel said that, my whole heart just opened up because the truth about this business, yeah, is that our currency is time, yeah? Where are you spending your time, yeah? And are you thanking the person for their time if you're sharing your with them, yeah? Or if you're with a team leader, an upline, downline, sideline, whatever lines, yeah, you're connecting with, yeah? Are you taking the moment to appreciate the time that you have together? Because if you do, I tell you now, you will have an extraordinary phone call like I had with Rachel because we just both went in. Yeah, we really used our time efficiently and it felt like the most amazing one hour phone call, but it didn't last more than 15 minutes. Yeah, and so I share this because you want this to be a reflection of your own business too, of how you connect with people, yeah, if you're sharing the products or how you're connecting with teammates. And I know, I know when I'm not focused, I can connect with a teammate and waffle, 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 
yeah, the phone call hasn't been really productive. And then I look at the time and go, oh my God, where did it go? And it's because we're, we're actually not present. Yeah, I'm talking to someone with my noise and they're talking to me with their noise. So, you know, don't be, it's actually something that I'm going to adopt now, Rachel, is that whenever I connect with a teammate, we're just going to breathe. That's the first thing we're going to do. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, let's take two, three deep breaths. And now let's start working. Yeah, now let's start talking about work. Now, um, please, if anyone ever wants to jump and say something, please do. Yeah, um, don't hold back, right? Now, the reason that I say about your breath and the importance of it to breathe deeply in your belly, yeah, and for you to expand yourself when you are breathing is because it allows you to refocus and re-see your vision, right? So you got noise, you stop, you breathe. You really see what's important for you. And what may be important for you is probably different to a, a teammate, and that's okay. That is so okay. Yeah, because the minute you start competing, the minute you start comparing, the minute you start doing all of those things that we do as humans, because we all think we're not enough or not good enough, we don't see the gift that we are. And by the way, we are all a gift. Yeah, we are all an absolute gift what tends to happen is you start to lose your clarity of what it is that you want to achieve, right? So is it your three-year free? Is it you want to hit platinum? Whatever your dream is, do you want to pay school fees for your kids? Do you want free holidays? In the moment of those noise, you stop, you breathe, you realign yourself, and here, yeah, on this beautiful part of your forehead, it's like a camera, right? I want you to project that thing that you're going after. Yeah, so I'm just going to use platinum as an example because I'm liking platinum, gold, silver, all of those colours. I've moved into a new home, so we're decorating and I'm going for gold. My kids are like, Mom, can we keep the playroom colourful? And I'm like, yeah, but the rest of the house is going to be gold, <laughs> right? So what I want you guys to do so is... From here, this is your camera, right? You're breathing, you're projecting what it is that you want. And what that does, it sort of narrows your focal point. Yeah, all of a sudden, you are focused on what it is that you want to achieve. Let it be daily, weekly, or the month within itself. Yeah, and the only way you can do that, by the way, guys, is celebrate what happened yesterday or to celebrate what happened 15 minutes ago. Yeah. So if last month you didn't get what you wanted to get, this month don't bring the past with you. That's something we spoke about um, today. It's all about not bringing the past with you. Yeah, we've got a new GM. It's about not bringing the past with us. Yeah, if we start comparing our new GM with our old DM, you know, we're just stuck. We're stuck again with noise. None of us are moving forward. It's like, hey, thank you, old DM. Thanks, Rick. Hey, thank you for all that you've done. Bang. Fix my projection now. Chink. All right, Mark. Hi, Mark. I am now focused on you. Yeah? I'm focused on you to make me a better version of myself. Yeah? And therefore, your time is used productively. Your time is not wasted. And then you feel better within yourself. And then there's a magical thing that happens. You start to hear your inner voice. You know, the one that actually wants you to succeed, that one that's like, it whispers. It's like almost like, excuse me. Yeah, hi, Tony. Hi, Senna. Hi. Hi, guys. Um, could you do this as your next step? Yeah. But the more you listen to that little voice, the louder it will get and the more distant the noise around you becomes. Yeah, guys, I hope this is making sense to you all. Yeah, because I've gone, ooh. Mm? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, I'm good for time, Rach. Can I keep going? Good. Yeah, all right. All right. So I'm going to give you guys a dance here, right? So we're breathing in, we're breathing, we go all the way down to our belly. 
We get our projection ready, which is here. We visualize what it is we want. And it's a realistic visualization, yeah, something tangible and non-tangible, yeah. So you've got to be able to dream and you've got to be able to, to, to do. So, for example, I'm going to just use my son as an example. Um, if I'm thinking of Antaeus, I want him to have the best life possible and give him the best school and have, like, travel and yum, 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 yum. Yeah. Now, at the same time, he's a baby, so I've got to break it down in the 15-minute department because he needs to poo, he needs to be fed, he needs to burp, yeah. I have to help him with the pooing. And as Rachel had that experience with me today, he pooed. And I was like, yeah, go and dance. And at the same time, oh, yeah, Rachel, mm, yummy, 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 philosophical discussion about new horror, yeah. But all of that is part of the projection, yeah? So at the end of my amazing phone call, I had a really heavy diaper to clean. And as I was cleaning that diaper, I was saying, bring on the abundance. That's what happens in tears when you're in the flow, mate. That's what happens when you're in the flow. When you're in your flow of life, everything just runs through you. And bless his cotton socks, his poo ran right through him, yeah? So I share this. Yeah, because when you're after a dream, <laughs> those challenges come up. Yeah, but it's not for you to have a setback. Yeah, it's not for you to come off a phone call that was amazing and go, oh, my life sucks now. I've got to change a diaper. No. Yeah, that's got to that's got to propel you to want more, to be more, to reach more. Okay, so we're projecting here. We've got the projection. The noise is further away because we're really focused and we're breathing. And then you have your beautiful arms and your beautiful legs. Okay, so now your arms, I'm going to give you guys a good dance. This is what's going to get you into being you. I want you to fly. Okay, I want you to fly. On days that are hard, you're going to fly. Okay, you're flying and you're breathing. You're flying and you're breathing because you want to fly. You want to reach the goals that you want to achieve within this month, the day, the week. Yeah, I keep saying that because we're all very different. Yeah, and, and, it, and it's important to celebrate your diversity in the way you see your goals. Okay, I want you to fly, but your legs, well, your legs are supporting your strengths. Yeah, your root, your, your connection to earth, let's say. So when you're flying, your legs are, um, you know the haka, how the New Zealands do humote, humote, oh, yeah? That's what you want your legs to look like. Yeah, you want to plant them into earth. Yeah, I love you, Tony. I can see how much you're cracking up, right? <laughs> you plant your legs into earth. You breathe into your belly. You have your projection and you start flying. <sighs> yeah, I tell you, you do this at a park, you'll have friends come up to you. It's amazing. It's amazing. First people stare and then they go, but it looks so freeing and she's so focused. Yeah, and they come and join. Or you can do it in your home or wherever you want, but I'm giving you this little tool because... It's really important with the business of what we do that we still remain in our body and that we still remain present and we still remain in the now, yeah, because it's the now that's going to take you to where you want to go to. And if you're not present in the now, then you are. You're going to be caught up with what happened yesterday or what so-and-so said or, or something that you're believing and that you're going to be projecting into the future. Yeah. So I, I hope this little funny tool, because I believe that sometimes we can become a bit too serious. Yeah, I'm going for NMD, I'm going for platinum, I'm going for this, and we become really serious. Sometimes get up and just do a bit of a dance, a bit of a breathe, a bit of a projection. Yeah, lighten up, lift up your vibration, make it light and then do that phone call to whomever you need to as to share product or what have you, yeah? Then contact your potential BP or your potential PC or then rock up to your marketing party. I tell you, you do that then you rock up to your marketing party, you're already laughing before you've started, yeah? And so you become contagious. People want to be around you. 
They're like, there's something that this person has, you know, she has a real zest or he has a real zest for life. There's a real passion there. Yeah, there's a real appreciation of time. Yeah, and time is an important thing. It's one thing we don't get back. Yeah, so use your time wisely yeah, and use it for you to work for you, not against you. Yeah. So, Rach, is there anything that I've missed out because I'm 8.23 now? Um, I really just loved the the second you breathe, like when you, you know, like in 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 my world, in Tony Robbins' world, we he has what we call the crazy eight, and the crazy eight goes from you know happy to sad to angry to um, to crazy to happy to sad to angry to crazy, and it goes round and round and round and round and round, and and you have to somehow get off it. You have to find a way that's going to break the pattern to get it to get off that crazy train to actually stop for a minute and go, whoa, what's going on? And the best way to do it that costs nothing is to a catch yourself, but to b is to just breathe. Breathe. To, and, and I love how you said planting your feet so you're grounded um, is so important. And if you can kick those shoes off, absolutely do that. Um, that planting those feet so you feel the earth is, is the best thing ever. And then you literally breathe. And then when you breathe, Sonia said to me today, um, what is it that you need to do right now? Um, or was it next? Right now. And, and for me, it was like, was realign. Mm. That's what I was doing. And that's what the phone call was about. So literally, I, I, it was my barometer thing was going like this. And literally with that one line and after I'd breathe, I went bang, straight back. And I was straight back in line. Mm. You know? and, and I really wanted to share this with you guys today because, you know, I know what the journey's like. I, you know, so does Sonia. We've been there for the last three years. Um, we know every day there's days that you go, yep, this is amazing. Oh, my gosh, I'm having such a win. And then the next day you're like, oh, my gosh, so many rejections. Like, is there something wrong with me? Am I growing my unicorn horn outside my bum? You know, like, there's so many, like, there's so many different uh, challenges that come within us, which is what Mark said today. This business exposes you yeah let it expose you but allow yourself and honor yourself to mm. see what that is that it's exposing mm. that exposure is what you want to work on right now yes that's your personal growth and that's what mm. that's what when i rang sonia and she and she's right we did we just you know we just went straight in i am right. my man Mm. I, I, I want to I wanna have a conversation, you know, a real conversation. Mm. And it's, it's that thing, yeah? It's like you, what you said now, gorgeous, that exposure that comes up for you, that is actually the gold. Yeah, that is the golden cookie. Yeah, that is, that's what you want to be working with. And there's, that's why the company has 10 good pages of a good book. Yeah, um, that's why we have personal development is because, you know, people can inspire you and you always want to hang out with people that are better than you or, you know, the leaders because they've got this energy about them. But it's it's being able to, to flip, to flip your script, to flip, yeah? And it's like Rachel today, she noticed something. She didn't dwell on it. She didn't dwell on it for a day or two or three or four or a week. It came up and went, she went, bang, I've got to get on to this, yeah? I've got to nail this straight away i've got to look at this i've got to look at what's come up yeah because you know, the interesting thing is is that once you're once you want to acknowledge uh, what is being exposed you know and, and louise hay i don't know if you all know louise hay uh but she's an incredible 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 writer um thought leader and and she once said um she once said that when you're cleaning your house, you're in a house, you've got to know where the dirt is to clean the house. 
you can't clean the house if you don't know where the dirt is. Mm. And I love that because that that's exactly like Sonia said. I don't want to dwell on nothing. Mm. I want to be clean as I can possibly be in life. You know, life life throws us enough stuff to be challenged mm. with. You know, the last thing I want to be challenged with is, is how I feel about myself. Mm. Um, and, and I know life wants to challenge us about how we feel about ourselves every day. We get, we get attacked by it every single day. Mm. Um, so the moment that something is, you're exposed, you, the quicker you can jump on it and mm. go, okay, I'm not really, and I can tell you it's the repeat record that's going on in your head and it was already going on. It was just that somebody opened you up to expose you and, and that allowed you the space then to recognise it and recognise what that broken record is to then stop, breathe, mm -hmm. reset. What are your goals? Mm -hmm. What do you need to do now? Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. And that funny dance, which is not a funny dance, but I'm calling it a funny dance so that you can feel comfortable doing a funny dance. But that funny dance is actually, it's helping you to stop that noise in your head go on repeat. So if you can't embrace the gift of the breath, yeah, because it's too strong, that record, that broken record is too strong in your mind, yeah, and if you see you're breathing, you're breathing and it's not working, then you've got to do a funny dance, yeah, do a physical, like we do with little kids. You do something that's physical, yeah, and because you're doing that, it's making you focus on what you're doing and you're bringing yourself back to the now and then you can drop the funny dance and breathe, come into the now, refocus, and restart up again of what it is that you need to do in that moment. Yeah. And, it, and it's really important that every day, um, sorry, Rach, this is something on the side, but it's gratitude. You know, you've got to go to bed. And I, I'm not one to say you've got to do this, right, but you've got to, you've got to, right? If you can find that you're, you're stuck in the negative train or the repeat train you've got to go to bed writing three things that you're grateful for of your day yeah and really bring that in because that tool is 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 what's going to help you when things get really heated and you're just looking into your breath yeah it's because every day you're doing a little bit of those gratitudes of saying thank you you know thank you rachel for calling me um, thank you to my son doing that massive poo. It was massive. Yeah, but I learned so much in that moment, yeah? Um, so whatever it is, yeah, make sure you close your eyes at night saying thank you to at least three things. It's going to help you sleep better and it's going to help you affront challenges that come your way. But like Rach said, breath, it's for free. And you could even be talking to a potential and just stop and just go, I've got to breathe for a second. Whew. Running here, running there, drop the kids, done this, done that, da, 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 da. it's okay. And I tell you, the person in front of you will be so grateful that you've taken the time to stop and breathe because they're probably feeling the same way. Yeah, they're probably in need of a breath as well. So, guys, I would love it if you could all drop some serious love in the chat for Sonia. Um, I, I just appreciated so much that she was on that other end of the phone call for me today because, I, I like she said, I like to wrap things up quickly. When there's, uh, when there's something going on, I, I want to fix it right then and there and not let it carry with me into my life. Um, you know, your time today with me was fantastic. I hope your time with everybody tonight, everybody got something from that, um, that you can refocus in, in what you're doing with the aura. We've got a big month ahead of us. It's going to be incredible. There's going to be announcements galore. There's a um, there's a Zoom meeting with uh, Mark about the edge uh, in Sydney on Wednesday. Um, if you can't make it, that's okay. That's fine. It's going to be recorded. But if you can make it, you want to be on these calls live as much as you can. The reason being is it brings energy into the call. Um, it gets everyone excited that there's people showing up and, and people 
people love that. I get that people work though. Um, and the times that we often do things are in work hours. So I get that. That's, that's totally fine. But if you're a shift worker um, or a stay at home mummy or any of those people that can get to those calls, just make sure you're marketing the calendar so you can be on the call. You don't have to be sitting in front of your computer. You can be on your phone. You can be on the move, whichever it be. Um, we also have, uh, just as a last announcement, we have on uh, Saturday the um, 7th, I'm pretty sure it is, somebody correct me if it's not, um, we have our online regional this way, uh, this week, which is our monthly training. Um, we've got the beautiful Geraldine, uh, Silver and MD from San Diego. Her team is also here on this call today. She's going to be talking to us about customer acquisition retention and flipping PCs to BPs. Now, uh, Gigi, as we call her, um, will be zooming in from Hawaii uh, in our time. It'll be Saturday. Uh, you can see the times there. I'll make sure that banner gets out to all the leaders so they can share it around. Um, but it's going to be a great call because, you know, as you all know, we do the PC bonus um, with the PC bonuses. Uh, it's always cool to find out tips and tricks. Uh, Geraldine, has been one of the top PC um, go-getters in the company for a very long time. She's been in the company for seven years. So, you know, when people go, oh, I've gone through my network already. <laughs> um, she did seven years ago and gone through them over and over and over again and meet new people and here they all are and she brings on more people all the time. So um, it's going to be great to have her on. Once again, it will be recorded. So don't fret if you're at work. Um, that's cool. You, you'll get a recording of it. Uh, but definitely if you're about on Saturday, please chime in. Um, it's an hour call so we can all hang out together, um, create that energy as a group. I want to thank everyone, as always, for giving up your time on a Monday night uh, to invest in yourself into your business with us with Neora. We're really excited about September. So let's go out there and go get them. So see you all next week. Thanks so much, Sonia. I love you. More than welcome, same gorgeous. Thank you so much. Mwah, 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 mwah.